When we think about the parts of a language, we can look at some of the building blocks. We have letters, words, phrases, clauses, and complete sentences. Today we're going to talk about clauses. Clauses are groups of words that include a subject and a verb. First, we're going to look at a few examples of phrases that are not clauses. Our first one is my brothers and sisters. Here we have two nouns, but we don't have a verb. So this phrase cannot be a clause. Our next one has a verb running, but it doesn't have a subject for this verb. So it's also not a clause. Our last one is a different type of phrase, a prepositional phrase. We have a preposition on Saturdays and Sundays. Again, we don't have a subject and a verb in this case, so it is not a clause. Let's look at using these three phrases in a sentence and see what clauses we can find. My brothers and sisters listen to podcasts while running and they relax on Saturdays and Sundays. In this sentence, we actually have two clauses. Our first clause is my brothers and sisters listen to podcasts while running. And our second clause is they relax on Saturdays and Sundays. In our first clause, we have a subject, my brothers and sisters, and a verb, listen. In our second clause, they relax on Saturdays and Sundays, we have a subject, they, and a verb, relax. So these are both clauses within one complete sentence. It becomes important to understand what clauses are when you talk about the structure of different sentences. You can talk about dependent and independent clauses. And with my advanced students, we usually talk about different types of dependent clauses, like noun clauses, adjective clauses, or adverb clauses. So, it's important to remember that in order to be a clause, the group of words needs to include a subject and a verb.